Monday, April the 18th. Just start this video by letting you guys know it's a, it's a different week, um, at least for the coaches, because we have our, uh, we got we got age group qualifiers this week. So, or at least it begins a little later in the week, but it kind of throws the whole week off as far as when timing wise, we'll be able to test some of these workouts. So I can promise you, I still will be able to test some, if not all, but I may be doing them, you know, in the morning or the day of the same day that we have them programmed. So it's not really testing at that point. It's more just validating so that I can provide notes for the classes that I teach. Um, so it doesn't happen all the time, but definitely happens this week. So I apologize. That being said, it is a deload week. And so uh, the idea behind most of these workouts will be pretty obvious. Um, and how to go through them will be likewise relatively relatively pain free and uh, and less on the strategy side, more on the let's just get the work done side. So what do we have today? We're gonna we're gonna buy in with a long row, a one thousand meter row. But after that, you get some some lifting to do, some lifting and some advanced gymnastics. And so what does that tell you? That really just tells you or me right away, this one thousand meter row is not. 1000 meter row PR time, right? This is not, this is, you know, we're obviously adding intensity to a workout and we want to row pretty strong. We want it to be a row you're proud of, but we're not asking anybody to PR the row. It shouldn't be all, an all out sprint because, you know, it is deload week, but we do have front squats today and this will be the heaviest that we, that we really go all week, um, or at least it should be. So if you haven't looked yet on beyond the whiteboard, there are, um, there are some suggested weights, essentially like what we have in our minds as what we would have programmed, you know, back in the day when we used to make it RX or competitors and and uh, performance and fitness. So we have some suggestions and you'll notice they're pretty aggressive. Um, the strength of this week, the strength piece, the first half of class, that's where the deload is. And we'll deload a bit for the workouts too. But um, if you are someone who's like, well, I always want to get my lifts in, then this is a good way to do that today. You can decide to go a little bit heavier on the on the barbell. So it's row the thousand meters, four rounds. You got four muscle ups and 12 front squats. And I think it's a good time for these muscle ups because we just did that last week as our skill, right? We did bar muscle ups. So we have less this time, right? Last time it was five muscle ups and something else that was for the Iman last week. And so, you know, we figure one less of that, have a pretty good, and you're not, you're not uh, beholden to an entire minute of work, right? So now you can take your time on them if it's something that you really want to perfect. You can still do the thing where you go, well, instead of four muscle ups today, it's for me, it's three or two or one, um, or you can use rings, which, you know, we haven't been doing as far as a clinic is concerned. So I expect less people to use the rings. But all of those are possibilities today. You can use the band. You can use the box. What we just wouldn't recommend is something that you very easily just fly through, right? Because that's never, at least at our gym right now, it's never the intent of four muscle-ups. We expect the four muscle-up work, the body of work for whatever you, it is you choose to modify with, to be difficult, right? Something that was a challenge for you. Um, maybe using something that you learned last week as one of our progressions last Wednesday. Um, or doing rings because you know that they're more difficult for you. Um, so there's no expectation of unbrokenness on whatever it is that you choose to do. There is just an expectation that you're progressing in some way or doing something that shows us good gymnastics technique, an arch and a hollow, for example, um, or really good dip out of something. Just something that's a that you can feel proud of when you leave today. And then after that, we have that's that's one round, his four muscle ups and twelve front squats. The front squats will take place from the ground, right? So that's a clean into a front squat. First one can be a squat clean, obviously. And the weights that we're asking for are really somewhere between fifty-five and sixty percent of your one rep max. So that is deload-ish, but at this volume. Uh, 48 of them total, we would not be surprised and would recommend even that at some point you may need to break them up, right? Six and six would be a great way to get through this, especially if you have to, if you want to save some energy for those muscle ups. All right. Um, that's really all we got for Monday. All right. Remember this is deload week for the strength. 
you'll still get your fitness in. It'll be a great week. Next week, we got a lot to do. All right, guys. See ya.